What's up, Bass Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. Baby, I just got home from school. Just because the kids are out does not mean I'm out. Whew, I came home and I just took everything off. Give us free. <laughs> Baby, do you ever come home and do that? Leave it in the comment section below. Do you just want to get out of your clothes? So it was fun today. Um, they did awards, like funny awards for teachers and a lot of training. It was really good, very useful, and I'm looking forward to the year. So it was it was very good training. Sometimes you're like, oh, they, that could have been an email, or I'm not going to remember that. But the training was very, very good. I really liked it and stuff that I already want to implement in my class. So that means I have to redesign my class, certain parts of it. And I feel so blessed that I do not have to take my room down. And so I did a small PD and I sat with the principal. I said, I'm going to sit here with you. <laughs> I think with my principal, I think, you know, I'm like his alter ego. Almost like you, not you wish, but like someone is a certain way. You'd be like, gosh, you know, I wish I could do that. I don't know, I know I'm not using the right words, but he's very um, reflective. He has to think and process things. And he may not give you an answer right away. Or well, it'll take him a while to give you an answer because he needs to really think it through. And I'm like, whoa, I'm the crazy one. <laughs> Is that Miss Bell's on skates? So I think that um, when he sees me, he's just tickled. And one day he did tell me, he said, uh, we need more basils in the world to balance out the Carl's, his name's Carl, to balance out the Carl's in the world. <laughs> so I just said, so, so he always smiles when, when he sees me. So um, I had an idea uh, for the next year. And I was like, well, you're probably going to say no. But let me just ask, probably fire, you know, the fire warden will probably say something about it. But I'm not sure. And he says, well, last time you asked for something, I said yes. <laughs> he said, well, what is it? And he says, hmm, all right. You may want to talk to Wanda, see the fire marshal. Or when he comes, we, you know. So he's thinking about it. And I have to talk to someone else so I'm, I'm really excited about that and but that's not why I came on here y'all listen 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 so I came on here because I have a question for you I have a question for you and you answer the question in the comment section below okay right because who gonna check you boo nobody your opinions and your feelings they're yours nobody's gonna check you on that purr purr I think I'll leave you two questions and let's see whose question that i will pin to the top of the mountain yeah okay let me go back a minute i wasn't it, well, I, the spirit just hit me i want to apologize and i think the big thing is when you make a mistake it's about owning up to your mistakes and i did make a mistake i did and I've read it wrong. I'm embarrassed because I reacted. I, I, and I've read it a couple of times. It just, I was just insulted by it. Do you guys remember when I, I, I put a um, community post about somebody said my channel was boring? It might be boring to some people. I, I get that, I get that. I am not for everybody, okay? And everybody is not for me. So I get that, my channel might be boring. I'm not, I'm not in the mood to do pranks and stuff, or whatever it is, I'm just not it, which is fine. So, I don't know, something made me go back and reread that particular post, which I haven't gone back to look at the person's name, but I do want to extend a public apology the person didn't say my channel was boring. I don't know, maybe I needed my glasses, but I know I've read it a couple of times. The person didn't say my channel was boring. What they said, YouTube is boring. <laughs> and then he asked about, well, where's you know Clinton and the other girls, whatever. So I do take that back and I do apologize from the bottom of my heart. And, um, I am so, so sorry that I misread um, 
your comments and that's not what they said. And that's how, I don't, I don't know, but I am sorry. And I think the big thing is when someone can admit that they made a mistake and you own up to the mistake. So if there's something that you've done wrong or something like that, own up to it. They're either gonna forgive you or they're not. And Bobby just told me about one of the questions that I'm about to read to you. She was like, and I said, is there anything that you would want to do over? And she said, yeah, um, I think it, when she was in middle school, um, she didn't really treat the girl badly, but other people treated the girl badly and Bobby didn't do anything to, you know, to stop it or redirect the attention or anything. And so the girl won't spek to Bobby, even in high school, so they went to middle school, not high school. And she says she, she does regret that. And she says she apologized to the girl and the girl says she's not ready to accept her apology and the girl won't speak to her. And I understand um, sometimes people are not ready to forgive and move on, but that girl not forgiving, that's her still holding on to that hurt and that pain and that anger. And as long as you continue to hold on to pain and anger towards someone, you're just harboring that, that hatred in your heart. Not that you have to forget what the people did but you have to let it go just like I've, I've said this before I had to forgive my father in death because I felt like he contributed to my mom's death and then um years after he passed I had to forgive him because I was still harboring that pain he's gone and I'm still walking around alive breathing still angry that don't even sound right you gotta let it go let it go let it go let it go I didn't say I could sing. That's one thing I can't do. Anyway, listen, 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 listen. I don't think I said this already, but pretend like I did. I don't remember. But this is what I wanted to tell y'all. So they were doing awards. Did I say it already? I don't remember y'all. But they were saying awards at school. I don't know how I didn't. Anyway, y'all know my brain, right? And I got, um, so a lot of teachers got some funny awards, some great awards. But mine was, and they talk, they, they say a little blurb about the person. Have you seen her, have you seen her skirts and blah, blah, blah. And so I got fashionista of the school. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. So when I got up, y'all know I'm extra. You just know I'm extra. And when it was like, Miss Basil, I was like, ah, ah, ah. And I was touching people as I was walking like I was going to get by. My, 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 Emmy, honey, go, go up there and get some, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, ah! People were laughing. <laughs> and then I went up and got my boy. It was great. So then I wasn't paying attention. Just like maybe 20 minutes later, they're still giving out awards. And I wasn't paying attention. And I'm talking to Miss Anderson. What, 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 what? And I was like, they was like, Basil, Basil. I'm like, what? I want something else. I want something. And they was like, no. <laughs> they was like, come here. So they wanted me to have the same reaction for one of the APs. She won something. I think it was for her 15 years of service. It was so, I was like, I want to get it. I'm like, what? He was like, no, you did not have several seats. <laughs> so it was so funny and so cute. Anyway, long story short, my question is... <laughs> and we're not seeing television. What do you do to unplug or take a break from life? We're not talking about hold your breath under water or something like that because that doesn't count. What is that you do like when life is just on you? The way, how do you just zone out? How do you take a break from life? Think about it. Ponder on that idea first or that question. And then tell me, what is it that you do? How do you take a break from life? When life gets you down, how do you get back up? When life has kicked you in the stomach, how do you take a break from life? But we're not talking about holding your breath. We're not talking about go swimming and hold your breath under water. We're not talking about taking a bath and put your head in the water and you taking a break, a break from life. Well, it may be taking a break. Maybe taking a bath. Maybe that is your way of taking a break from life. <sighs> 
do I take a break from life? Really, I think I just, um, when, when things were really, really hard, some days I would sit in my car. I could sit in my car for hours. Sometimes I would drive to Walmart and sit in my car. I just needed a break. Um, for me, also, what's very relaxing and taking a break is um, I listen to my audiobooks and I'm able to escape within the characters and the plot of the story of the book I'm listening to. And that's what I did as a little girl when there was so much going on around me. Reading books, Harlequin romance books, um, that's what I say saved my life. So from a little girl, I wanted someone to climb up on my fire escape because I lived on the fourth floor and just whisk me away and live life happily ever after. So I think that is my escape. And honestly, when I run, that's also an escape for me too, which I have not done in quite a while. And I'm getting sick, <laughs> but not in the right places. <sighs> that's okay. I know how to, I know how to get it together. Anyway, here is your other question. What did you learn in your last relationship? What did you learn in your last relationship? Leave it in the comment section below. What did you learn in your last relationship? not my last relationship but my last marriage <laughs> you know I've been married a couple of times um, I learned to never allow anyone to control you you have to live your life for you and I still feel as though I stayed longer than I should have but I think the experience was invaluable because based on that experience it has made me a stronger person i know what i want and i know what i do not want i know what i will not tolerate and i know i will walk away <laughs> baby this is not working and so i have that inner strength that has made me a stronger person so although the relationship had its ups and downs. It was not always bad, okay? We had a lot of fun. Yes, we did. And, but when it was bad, it was bad. And I'm grateful for the experience. Like, I would never want to erase that experience because it makes me who I am today. It makes me grateful for the good times because I had so many bad times then I'm grateful for the good times <laughs> so I try to treasure them as long as I can but baby it has definitely made me a stronger and wiser person I don't know if that has come with age because there are things I just won't tolerate and if you don't like it bye bye <laughs> bye bye <laughs> good night <laughs> blue cheese slice a piece of blue cheese and walking out the door yeah, so I'm just like, okay. And I don't mind being by myself. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. I'm, I'm content with being by myself, too. So, you know, Bay Daddy, beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful. Has nothing to do with that. I'm just talking about my past relationship. But, yeah, I, I think I've developed an inner strength. And I think I've developed a testimonial. Whereas when I teach... Sometimes I'm on my soapbox. Glad I got my stage now, y'all. Sometimes I'm on my soapbox in class and I tell the girls, never allow a man to control you. You always make sure you have your education, your own coin. So when he decides to go left, you pack your bag, pick up your kids, and you go to the right. You know? So it's like, as you get older, you get wiser. But sometimes the younger people don't want to listen to the older people because they feel as though they, we don't know nothing. They've been, been there, done that. So I'm trying to help you with that. And I think my girls seeing me and my strength has strengthened them. And of course, I'm still always going to be preaching, oh no, we don't tolerate that, period. So it's like, you know, I raised the girls 
with uh, uh we don't we don't accept that i still worry about bobby because she's so sweet and she doesn't want to hurt people's feelings but as she gets older i think she'll get that strength sydney she don't play she does not play she gonna tell you <laughs> that that that's why her friends be changing every other week but the one thing about sydney she knows when a friend group is not good for her and she has detached herself from certain friend groups or they detached themselves for her and she was okay with it you know she was a little hurt in her feelings but baby always remember this rejection is sometimes for your protection so i'm you know trying to find a little cash card for bobby it is stressing me out can't find anything money keeps getting lower and lower and lower so my options are getting less and less and less and one guy was really rude he was like is your money right because i don't got no time to waste i was like what I was like, okay, thank you for your time. And I was like, Joy, it just wasn't meant for you. And somebody with that attitude, rejection is for your protection. That's why I was like, mm -mm, thank you. Thank you for showing your true colors because who, who knows what kind of car that would have been. Baby. So when things don't work out for you, change your thinking and say it wasn't meant to work out for you. So that rejection when you didn't get that job, that was for your protection. When somebody doesn't want to date you or be with you, baby, that was for your protection. So think about it that way. Because when that door closes or it didn't open, it wasn't meant to open. Purr, sis. And that's all I got to say. And that's all who? That's all who? Mary had a little lamb. That's it. Period. Point blank. So... Make sure you answer those two questions in the comment section below. Put on your post notifications. <laughs> like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.